This is the best experience with your host, Nick Best, and the mm -hmm. angry dad, Nick mm -hmm. Best. I, I've heard of him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. But before we get into today's episode, I'd like to thank Barbell Apparel, a premium athletic wear performance engineered with a performance athletic fit, refined clothing for an athletic body type. Evolution Athletics, a supportive gear company owned by Brian Shaw, four-time world's strongest man and strongest man on earth. We believe in all athletes and supporting their journey towards greatness. Iced Up Industries, get $50. That is $50 off at checkout with code BEST at checkout at icedupindustries.com. Make sure you guys go check it out. Use our code, use our promos, use the links because it really helps us out. And we appreciate it. And they're great ice baths. They're great ice baths. They're great ice baths. And great ice baths. And the cost of them, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's only like about 2300 bucks for an ice bath that you pay 5000 for the other ones. Exactly. It's the same ice bath. You could literally get two you of them. You could literally get two of these for the price of one. one. Exactly. On the so exactly. And they're heavy duty, out. too. Like I said, yeah. they're, they're, they are definitely heavy duty. You can set one at hot. One like at 104 and the other one at, at cold at like 45 degrees exactly you know that it's funny because like i said that's what we used to do when we were kids it didn't know we were doing what was healthy <laughs> <laughs> you know very true very true <clears throat> that's it well for those watching uh obviously you can tell us we're we're twins now we're twins you know what i'm saying we got the same shirts on we were just at the winter warrior we literally left the show came straight to the house correct to do the podcast yep. and uh what a hell of a show. What a hell of a day. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Jeannie, you know, who put it on, you know, Gina, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. knows what she's doing. She's All got it down packed. So props to her for running a very smooth show, a very oh, fun smooth. show. Yeah, exactly. And, and the prizes she gave out, yes, you know, they're the, the they lined up with the, what the Winter Warrior is. So, weapons. big, yeah, yeah, weapons, you know. Swords. You know, races, what, hap what happens when you knives. give adult kids to weapons like that? You know what I'm saying? The first thing you need, everyone start po pointing them at each other. Or swinging them at each other. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, which was cool. It was, it was fun. fun. It was a it lot was of fun. fun. And that video will be coming out soon because yeah. as soon as I stitch it together, I'll put it out and everyone's going to be able to watch it. You know what I'm saying? So we had a lot of fun there. Mm -hmm. uh, Nick was uh, refing, mm -hmm. judging. And running around, uh, you know, I think he got more exercise today than anyone else lifting. It's possible. I took more steps. <laughs> I took more steps. Exactly. But I was like. His step, his step count was above average today. Which was great. And plus, it's just fun. I mean, when you go judge contests like this, I like to judge and then coach at the same time. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's it's really neat. You see somebody doing something wrong mm -hmm. and they can't quite finish the deadlift. I'm like, lock your knees or put your hips through, yeah. you know, get your shoulders back, that type of stuff. And then you see it click in their head and they make the lift. Exactly. And we, so we're doing shows coming. like this, you know, it, it's definitely needed because guess mm -hmm. what? There's a lot of guys that are like, there, there was a couple of first timers, a couple of people that just, mm -hmm. you know, like, they're like, okay, I've done this before, but you yeah. know what? Those cues are something you don't do when you don't compete on it, like a consistent basis. You right. know, or like, it's your first time and you're just green and don't know. Exactly. So it's it's pretty cool. I mean, we had a few guys like that today. Yeah. And I was like, hey, go put your belt on. The guy was a great Olympic lifter. Mm -hmm. I mean, really good. And his log, he was jerking his log. And he had the highest, uh, he had the best log yeah. of the day, actually. Yeah. And uh, it was just kind of neat. I'm like, no, well, you should try this. Put your belt on. Do this for that. Do this for the who's fell carry. And he's just like, oh, wow. And I was like, yeah, it's. Yeah, it makes that much it, of a difference. It's a, it's a big difference. It it's amazing. Does. Yeah, no, nah, but there's, there's also a reason why you're a professional. There's also a reason yeah. why you're a pro. Mm -hmm. And also, under, you know, it, it understands why you make a great coach and you and you make a great influence. Because guess what? Yeah. All those little details, you know, it, it, yeah. it, it you know, the, Nick said a few things today that you could see light bulbs hitting. Like, why didn't I think about that? And I'm like, exactly. It's Well, I mean, Strongman's about being the most efficient as you're doing it, lifting it the heaviest, the fastest, because everything's under time. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not about, you know, well, I can lift this with no belt on. Well, okay, so can I. But if I can get through that event, expend less energy, and beat you at the same time, why wouldn't you do that? I mean, when you have a paycheck lining up at the end of this to where you can take months off of, months off of work and train or not, that's the difference between professional and amateur. And mm -hmm. it's like the amateurs, if they want to get to that professional level, need to start doing those professional level things so exactly it's, it's kind of cool no no it de it's definitely cool it's definitely cool and like i said we we've already heard people saying that they can't wait for next year's winter warrior so i know 
you know what I'm saying? It, it, that's a great day. And and like I said, it, it was raining today. So luckily we, we had it. We were in uh, the untamed strength yeah. in uh, the Sacramento area. And it was big enough for us to have the contest in the show, which was Inside. nice. Yeah. And we were only in a small section of, of it. it. So it's like, you know, the people, other people were it's still big. coming in, still coming in to train. You know, there was a lot of people doing things there that day that weren't there for the show. But for the good part, man, it was a hell of a turnout. Yeah, if you're in Northern California, Unfamed Strength is a good place to go to train strongman because there's, I don't think there's anything they don't have. Yeah, they get the and amount of, of yeah, yeah, the, emo, the amount of equipment they got was mm-hmm. on point. Because and, and the the great thing about it too is like everything that every there everyone was performing on was equipment they've already trained with. Correct. If they were from that gym, because there was a lot of local people there, yeah. and they're like, oh, I, they're familiar with this equipment. You know what yeah, I mean? Like Austin came from Vegas. So that yeah. was kind of cool. So that'd be kind of neat. He's he's gonna be good. There's mm-hmm. there's gonna be quite a few people that comes out of the, that came out of this show that are gonna be actually really really. Oh good. yeah, especially if they stick to it. That's yeah. that's the one thing. And the, and the Reno crew that came down, mm-hmm. some very good lifters in there. That's it. Competitors coming from there, so it's you know it's gonna be kind of neat to watch you know, some of these guys improve in the area. Exactly, exactly. You know, and then we also had Hawaiian barbecue for lunch, which oh, Hawaiian nice. barbecue is delicious. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, I had uh, barbecue yeah. chicken. Yeah, exactly. I, I had <laughs> chicken. I had chicken katsu. Mm. And, I, you know, I'm a huge Hawaiian macaroni guy. I, you know, I, there was rice. Mm, I I could've, I, yeah, exactly. I, I could have eaten rice, but God damn it, something about Hawaiian mac just hits. Yeah, I know. But I've been pretty disciplined on my diet lately. Yeah. So well, yeah. you know, someone's trying to slim down. If well, you can tell, no, I'm trying you know. to stay at 295. Yeah. And well, you look at the cheeks; they're yeah. sinking in. He's he's getting that 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 uh, he's going to hit the Olympia stage here soon. Uh, no, no, not a chance. <laughs> not a not chance. a chance. And the only way I'm hitting that stage is to like hand out a trophy or hand somebody a check in a suit or something. Kind Very of like Brian right. does, but. Which I don't see happening anytime soon. Either, well, you know, so. hey, hey, we're throwing it out in the world, and guess what? Someone <laughs> might hear it. Someone from the Olympia True. company might be listening to this podcast right now. Like, oh, like Nick that. wanted to do that. Why didn't we do that? Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'd you know, you know, and, and here's the other thing too. Talking about the Winter Warrior, mm-hmm. Las Vegas is coming up soon. So cool. in Las Vegas, guess what? Giants live first time in Las Vegas, yeah. New Orleans Arena, yeah. and um, in September. Is it in yeah. September? Exactly. So you know, we we. We hope to see everyone there. And, you know, it's the other thing, too, is, like, you know, we hope to be there to be able to support everybody and to, you know, have fun. Yeah. It would be good to see the guys and see Colin and see Darren and mm-hmm. all the guys from Giants Live and all the competitors as well. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to see us there, mention in the mention in, in the mention in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a couple of likes oh, out I'm gonna there. Be there. Oh, I know. You're, we're going to be there. <laughs> we're not saying we're not going to be there. Yeah. But we want people to let us know if they want to see us there. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know, I'm not worried about me. I'm more worried about Nick. That's all I'm saying because guess what? That he's the main attraction, uh, and I'm the side guy. Okay. <laughs> See, nah, di- didn't hesitate. Cool. Didn't hesitate. Okay. <laughs> it's cool, and I mean, it's it's neat. You go to things like this, and you feel totally inspired at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> Big Josh like tore it up today. Oh yeah, four that four hundred pounds down. Come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, like it was nothing. Just, just chucked it. So that yeah. was, that was. He had a great day. Mm-hmm. I mean, he did. He won. Was, he won the open. He won the open. Mm-hmm. Work on the front carries, stuff mm-hmm. like that. It was exactly. He he gets his front carrying stuff down, and he pr- probably would have won every event. So oh yeah. He did oh yeah. Out. I would not be surprised to see him up on the main national stage here soon enough. Yeah. yeah. His dead looks good enough. So. Oh yeah, that dead look was insane. Yeah. So it's, you know. it's gonna be good stuff. I mean, exactly. Yeah. And you know, it's the one thing too is like uh, Josh it happened to uh, you know um, uh, attend. Your seminar yep. and everything you taught them, you know you well. the, exactly. That's exactly you know, and that I'm not. I'm not saying that you had an influence on his victory today, but he did do quite a bit of the techniques that you taught him. Yeah, and his joke was good. He, oh yeah, his joke was yeah. That, he, it was it was like this close to like there was one person who was just like that yeah, much faster, but it wasn't the same way. Oh, what? Not at all the same way. <laughs> he he was like I'm beating that time. I'm like yeah, but you guys you guys are doing hundreds of pounds difference. Yeah. I, I think he was running a 700 pound yoke. Yeah, he like, was running a 700 pound yoke. Yeah. yeah. And it, what was it like? 8 point something? 8.96? His was like 8.96, and the other kid was like 8.5. Something. Yeah. So, but all, like, once again, these are two different classes, and he just got mad that he ran that fast. And he was like, I can run faster than that. <laughs> 700 pounds. Yeah. And well, he almost did. Well, one was going out the door. Yeah. 
You know, was going to the yeah. door. So he had to put on the brakes. Oh, yeah, too. yeah. That's very true. Yeah, yeah he would have yeah, he would have went through a glass door wall. and looked like Wiley Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> so but it was it was cool. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was like I said, it, it doing mm-hmm. stuff like this is it's it's always yeah. tremendous because like I said, it, the, the even right now we're excited because we just did it. Yeah. We're excited because we were just there. And it's exciting to be there. It's basically, like I said, supporting local shows, mm-hmm. supporting where the grassroots, where it actually starts. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, yep. that. that's where I always feel it's the most funnest because everyone is literally shoulder to shoulder cheering everybody on, which, yeah. you know, if you do strongman, guess what? That 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 That's a normal thing. Not in every sport you see that. Nope. You know what I'm saying? In a lot of sports out there, it, it's me against you and I don't talk to you. And yeah. strongman is like, no, nah, that. If, yeah, the guys are helping each other, exactly, and stuff and walking with each other, and encouraging each other, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, so it's neat. The camaraderie, it's there all the way around. It's yeah, really special because it's it's an individual sport, and you can't change what the other guy's going to do. Mm-hmm. And everybody wants to beat everybody on their best day. Exactly. I mean, it doesn't do any good to beat somebody when they're hurt. Exactly. Or not doing well. Exactly. So when you beat them at their best, then you know you got it. So, you, know? you know, and and they like cheer each other on. Yeah, and it was like I said, it was, it was tremendous. It was fun. Yeah, you know, it was raining outside, but and it got cold. But guess what? We were inside, so it was even better. It wasn't super cold. No, it was nice. Cold. It was, cold. It was a, yeah, it didn't snow if it, it was, was cold. cold. But for California, <laughs> it was quite chilly. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what we're getting yeah, to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We. In case, that's what you're getting. That's why exactly. You're the one complaining. Oh yeah, exactly. I, I think I'm from Vegas. So I didn't complain. Oh cold. yeah, not nah. well. You know, it, it, you're either extremely hot or extremely cold. Yeah, there, true. that there's there's no comfortable <laughs> middle for you. Very true. You know, there's <laughs> there's days Nick's training in under 60 degree weather in his in his garage or mm-hmm. over 100, 100 degree over weather. 100 you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's so hot that, like, you got to wait for the, the implements to cool off outside because they're roasting. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Well, I don't, we, I don't know how many times I went there and touch hot plates. We have to put, uh, like, during the summer, we'll have to take uh, a bucket of ice and water and drop towels in it and then put it over the handles of, like, the farmer's yep. walk and some of the other stuff to cool them off. And by the time we get it cooled off and everybody's like, aren't you going to worry about the street being wet? By the time you get back, the street's dry. (laughs) Yep. The implements are already starting to get warm again. Yeah. You got to go. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? California, it's a little, it's a little bit more controlled. We, you know, we have internal AC, you know what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? It's usually 65, 75. That's where I like it. Not too bad. Exactly. Not too bad. I like to sleep in weather like that. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) So, oh. but yeah we did we, we had a great day it was a yeah. fun day we had a great day of training there a great day of training yeah exactly that yeah, was a solid yeah, day of training yeah. 18 five was it uh 500 for 18 yeah so yeah, Probably yeah. Had 24 25 in me, but yeah I, well, it felt good the number was 18 i hit my number next next week the number goes up a little bit so well and here's the thing too is like you know, when we were training, people were like, Nick, do two more. Do do this. And he's like, no, I have a program. This was a number, number. This is my number. This is my program. Same thing with the squats. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, you squatted uh, 705? Seven, 720. 720 on, the on a single. You know what I'm saying? He's like, no, I could. I had more in me. Mm-hmm. But why am I going to beat myself up if I'm, you know, I'm, you're doing the program? You cool. know, that that's something that you always see people like, you know, I don't know how many times we were in the gym and we hear people talking about, well, I'm not supposed to do this. Yeah. If you're on a program, follow the damn program. It's written for a reason. Yeah. It's written for a reason. And I mean, there, unless it's a week where you're supposed to be testing or you're in the competition, you, you train hard, you get up in there pretty good, but you never lay the hammer all the way down. Yeah. All the way down. You get close, but not quite. Not till it's time. Exactly. Exactly, and that and that's one of those things too. It's like, like, like I said, you know, when you're young, you can get away with it, and when I mean young, there's a lot of under twenty year olds that you know they're they're just starting. No, there's a lot of people in their twenties. I still consider that pretty young. Oh, well, there we go then. You know what I mean? But you know, like I said, we we hear it all the time. I hear it all the time. You know, what I'm saying people are like, hey, you know, I'm not supposed to PR today, but guess what? I'm going. Yeah. Training for a PR every time you go out is not good. There's a difference between training for a PR. And doing a heavy single, there's mm-hmm. a difference. There's a massive difference, and it's not about going to the hundred percentile. But you get up into the high nineties, it's mm-hmm. okay. You just you push to the edge, but you don't go over. Mm-hmm. And a heavy single, 
that's meant for use for training that takes you four or five seconds to do and is a training single <clears throat> is good because you've when you do a training single you still do work sets up to it mm -hmm. you're still doing you know five reps and then three reps and then a single we're in a competition you're doing you know four reps and then single 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 yeah. single and then you're warm and you go hit your competition weights yep whereas trainings training you hit you know three or four hit fours threes 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 and then you hit your five your three and your one mm -hmm. i mean it's kind of how you do it you save it you one, one is training and the other one you're saving yourself to hit your heavy lifts. exactly that's the difference between the two see and i don't think people seem to get that no nah, no nah, they don't you know every, everyone wants the glory of the pr every time right but you know like i said to advance and to get better you know that, that there's a reason why there's a program yeah well and that's the thing i mean it it's great to hit PRs. Mm -hmm. Great. It's it's a great thing to do. We're never you're putting not, it down. But you're not always going to hit them. And if everything you function about is hitting a PR every time you train, mm -hmm. you're going to be pretty disappointed when yeah. you didn't train. Well, you know, it, uh, I was. <laughs> but it's good work. It's yeah. It's, it's solid work. Solid work. Good work. Not mm -hmm. everything has to be, you know, 100 percent better than the last time. But if you slowly, methodically get better mm -hmm. over time you never go backwards, then you'll continually move forwards and you continue to grow when everybody, instead of doing this, yeah. you know, throughout your training, it's just this. That's exactly. Yeah. And it just keeps moving and it keeps moving. And all of a sudden it gets to, you pass the peak, the peaks and valleys of the person doing this mm -hmm. and you, you, you never look back. And that's the goal in the end. And that's real training. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, patience and man me tell you right now you got to have patience to do this because you're yeah. you know like uh, my nephew was with us today at the uh at the show and mm -hmm. he was like I, i'm just gonna pick this up i'm like no you're not you're like you got to build up to this like this yeah. this you just can't magically like be this strong already well, oh he's all but what it was cute you stable to the floor yeah it's like, like well there's yeah you're not just gonna pick that up but you can pick that up you yeah. will be able to pick that exactly. up exactly in time but you have to do the things necessary to get you there and you exactly. got to put the work in and the long work in to reap the benefits and the rewards and that's how that works yes, it is. <laughs> you know what i'm saying he was just like so pumped up because he was like oh he wanted to do it next year i'm like well guess what and fast up brings fast down that's it we want to go we want that like i said that steady climb mm -hmm. that steady climb. well and the other thing is is you also want the muscle the muscle is going to recover mm -hmm. The muscle, and people don't seem to get this about training. The experts that can't beat me, yeah, um, with the internet keyboard warriors. So, uh, yeah, that too. <laughs> or haven't haven't done some of the things that I've done, or Ed's done, or just Brian, or any mm -hmm. any of the other great guys that doing this, and just mm -hmm. all of them is they don't get that. Yeah, muscle, everybody's so concerned about the body movement portion mm -hmm. where muscle heals in two days and you got to get back to training it and yeah. stuff like that. No, you need to heal when the connective tissue is healed. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. You need to train again when the connective tissue is healed. And why does the connective tissue take so long to heal after you've had a surgery or an injury or whatever? There's not good blood flow to it. Mm -hmm. So it heals slower. Now, why people can't figure this out, I don't know, but it just heals slower than muscle does. Therefore, your training should be when that muscle's healed. Now, it takes two to three times longer for the connective tissue to heal than the muscle. Muscle will not atrophy till the 10th day. Yep. So as long as you get that between six and eight day time frame in there, <clears throat> you're good mm -hmm. you're good and you're going to train you're going to get stronger you're going to train you're going to get stronger you're going to train you're going to get stronger and it, it'll be a, a, a little bit slower process but that the muscle gets stronger so much faster than the connective tissue when you start getting up into that international elite level and the muscle stronger than the connective tissue that's where you start running into injuries where you pop things off the bones yeah muscle belly tears muscle belly tears where you just pop the tendon off and then they're sewing it on muscle belly it's going to heal and that's guys who tear their muscle bellies their connective tissue is stronger than muscle 
that's impressive. Guys that pull it off the bone, the muscle is strong in the connective tissue. And that's where you run into your issues getting too strong, too mm-hmm. fast. There it is. That's the difference in the two. You know what I'm saying? This is a million dollar information here that you guys yeah. need to understand. And it's not talked about very much. Yeah. Which I don't understand. Well, you know. But everybody wants to sell quick. Everybody wants to sell fast. Everybody wants to sell this. And it, it's muscle maturity. That's what you're, that's yeah. what it is. It's, it, it's muscle maturity and it's patience and mm-hmm. it's understanding. You can work things to make them go a little bit faster. Mm-hmm. But in the end, the the getting there super fast is going to get you out of there super fast. Exactly. And, you know, and that's what we never, you know, like I said, we don't, we never want to see one, somebody jump to the top and then all of a sudden there's like, and Oh, the exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but also too, like I said, this is information that Nick always shares with a lot of his uh, mm-hmm. elite people that are coming up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? True. It's like, Hey, understand. And you know, some people get it. Some people don't. It's, you know, I've been talking about this for a while now. And yeah. I'll, you know, tell people who listen and it's, it's just you go through enough stuff, you go through enough injuries, mm-hmm. you start thinking about, well, why does this heal at this speed? Why does this heal at this speed? And you start learning the difference and we're like, okay, well, if this heals, if it takes tendons, you know, two to three times longer to heal than a muscle tear mm-hmm. does, why is that? And it's because mm-hmm. you start thinking it's the blood flow, it's this, yeah. the way the body reacts. And if you want to help your tendons and ligaments, you can take things like recovery that Brian sells mm-hmm. with undefined nutrition that's hydrolonic acid in it and then you can also take collagen and stuff like that mm-hmm. so that that will also help those repair and yeah i i don't think a lot of people re, you know really explore that avenue enough either exactly so you know wow but yeah you know we covered quite a bit and we had fast. a great week yeah it was fast oh uh, you know what it is we drink a lot of caffeine <laughs> oh you know they a hey, 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 cups and cups you know, co- coffee is very coffee underrated. And <laughs> coffee and kilos, send us a sponsorship. Yeah, that would be, yeah. Yeah, send yeah. us a sponsorship. We're drinking a lot of coffee. We're drinking a lot of your coffee. So guess what? You know what I'm saying? We'll put you on the podcast. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys like this. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, train hard, train smart, and be the best you can be. Check out Winter Warrior next year when it comes up here to Untamed Strength. In the Sacramento in the, area. In the Sacramento area. Uh, contact Gina and uh, get ready for next year. Oh, yeah. Anyway, train hard, train smart, and as always, be the best you can be.